It's here. It's finally here. You know what I'm talking about. Dark mode. Okay, so here's what you're gonna wanna do to activate dark mode. Make sure you have a Figma file open. Doesn't matter if it's an old one or a new one. Then you're gonna wanna take your mouse over to the top left of your window. Find the little Figma icon with the drop down arrow beside it. You're gonna go ahead and click that. Navigate down to preferences. Go down to theme. Look, there it is in all of its dark mode glory. Go ahead, click it. Okay, that was kind of anticlimactic, but you see that little light background color up in the top right? That's not going to change automatically unless you've activated dark mode, which we have, and then you've created a new Figma file. Now we've got a nice default dark background too with a snazzy 1E background. And if you wanna get super fancy, you can use 2C to match the left and the right side panels perfectly. There's a ton of other things I'm really excited about that Dylan Field just announced at Config. Too many to cover in this video, but the ones I'm most excited about. Major updates to auto layout, support for variable fonts, support for individual strokes, and component props, which is just gonna be huge. Let me know in the comments down below which new Figma feature you're the most excited about, and if there are any of them that you wanna see broken down in a future video. Make sure you subscribe if you wanna see more, and until next time, have a beautiful day.